Wait, what was that noise? Okay, whoa. Okay, things got a little shaky there. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone. This is your guide, Ryan Phoenix. Continue to climb back aboard the bus so we continue the tour of Parasite Eve. And welcome back once again to the mansion here with killer dinosaurs roaming around there. Yes, a uh, bit of Jurassic Park going on here. And a bit of treasure grabbing going on here as well as we get ourselves a tool. And what do we have over here? Oh, okay, we got ourselves a handgun, a P220-2. Okay, not too bad there. I do believe that that gun could actually be a different gun that would actually have been better for us there. Uh, 47, 58, 10. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that we're all right. We'll just stick with what we got here. And now let's continue to make our way through the museum and through these battles. Hooray! <laughs> Because, yeah, apparently Eve just couldn't leave all these uh, museum creatures alone here. But, man, uh, it's kind of weird there. The little monsters here got ourselves our dinosaurs and our chameleons jumping around here. But, yeah, well, you know, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and take care of them there. And, man, I, I love this burst ability. <laughs> so handy. So handy for taking care of groups of baddies like this. And for making battles like this go just a bit quicker. Okay, uh, we are not going to take any of your junk. Thank you very much. Uh, not this time, at least. Not this time. <laughs> For those of you who are gathering junk, remember to drop it off with Wayne when you get the chance. But for this playthrough right now, uh, inventory space is a bit too limited for for my liking. <laughs> for me to waste it. Well, not really waste it, but use it <laughs> for getting junk. Especially when I don't have like quick access to... Uh, heading back to the police station to drop that off. But maybe we'll show that off. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. But first, let's go ahead and show off this fight here and hopefully get these guys watched up a little bit better than I am here. Uh, these comedians jumping up uh, jumping all over the place. I don't want to cooperate. Not this time. I don't know if there's really any pattern to it. It seems kind of random there. Like, they will jump closer to you. For the most part there, like they'll uh, go back and forth between jumping closer and jumping away from you. So when they're ready to attack. Hey, I was ready to attack first, so. <laughs> no, not quite first, but you get what I'm saying. My attacks were better than theirs. That's why I was getting it. All right, let's go ahead and continue to make our way out this way. We've got more museum to explore. And now, uh, I don't think that we can hit upstairs yet, and uh, the elevator is a no-go, so we're going to head up into this hallway here. Oh, okay, we got ourselves a little, little uh, kiosk thing here, which, oh, oh, a bunch of animals kind of lit up there. How many animals were hiding? Uh, well, if you could count them all there, there were actually nine animals hiding in there. I feel like it's kind of easier to uh, see them as they're disappearing there because you're kind of more expecting it there and like kind of uh, with your peripheral or where you want to say it there, <laughs> you can kind of notice when they blink out and kind of count that mentally. Of course, you also have to know you're trying to count <laughs> how many animals there are and not pay more attention to them. And you can kind of see them from here. Yeah, let's kind of talk through that fight there. No B, no biggie. <laughs> Alright. Now let's head on up here. And I feel like there's a room to the right here. And, hmm, wait a second. It took me back. Did I, did I not go off to the right? Hmm. I don't know. Let's go ahead and peek up ahead here and see... Uh, can't go to the right here. Hmm. Oh, alright. We're going to go ahead and look over here and see what we see. What we see is this thing there. Somebody obviously doesn't want me to get through this area. <laughs> obviously, Aya. Obviously. But hey, we got ourselves another kiosk over here. Let's go ahead and check it out and see. 
Uh, what was the nutritional source of the first or organism that lived 3.9 million years ago? Billion years ago, sorry, not million. Well, if we go ahead and we're gonna choose the second answer here. Hmm. And hooray. Hooray for getting some more goodies there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like some of these questions there are, uh, we have heard the answers to before, just from the exposition there, like mostly from uh, meeting with Dr. Clamp earlier. Now, I know that there's a way to get over to the right here and, oh, okay, all right, I'm behind the scene right now. Okay, <laughs> this is where I was thinking that we were going to go. So, all right, the backstage now. Yeah, hey, we got ourselves another kiosk here. Let's head towards it. Pretty sure that this one works. Uh, it's not wanting to cooperate right now. All right, the name of the organelle that appeared in the first organism. Well, you know, if mitochondria is on the list there, it's probably going to be mitochondria. So, yeah, little little tip for you there. <laughs> might not surprise you guys, or it might. I don't know. But hey, if we go ahead and go into the doorway here, we have ourselves a storage room and apparently a battle. All right, just took care of that off screen, so no biggie, no biggie. Let's go ahead and top off a little bit here. Also free up a little bit of inventory space, but we got stuff to get, like this Fins Plus One. Awesome. Here, what do we have in this tiny chest? All right, here we have a Defense Plus One. Awesome as well. And a more standard large chest, which contains the normal armor, the end suit. Uh, I think that that one is like a good uh, regular defense upgrade. Yeah, yeah, but I think that, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's a lot lower on the other stats, so. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely not one for me, you know. If you really wanted to have that raw defense, I mean, it's there, it's there. It's not like a horrible option, but we can slide this thing out of the way and kind of have a little secret room over here, which contains a tool. And what do we have over here? A trading card. Okay, so more weapon upgrading items. Very nice, very nice. Uh, very happy to grab that. And now we'll head on back. All right, oh, I almost missed this. <laughs> Just kind of caught it in the corner there. Yeah, uh, they are pretty tricky about hiding or tucking away those little chests like that. I and mean, that's not nearly as bad as one in the sewer there, which was actually hidden. So, yeah, yeah, at least we got that going for it. All right, I think that we've done enough modeling around over in this area, so let's go ahead and make our way back down this long hallway and back to the rather menacing looking scorpion and see if we can deal with it. Yeah, you want some? You want some? I'll come get some, let's do this. All right, mini boss time, kind of. <laughs> I guess I term this a mini boss. Uh, not really difficult there. Let's just go ahead. And, uh, you want to try to kind of get to the sides of it to avoid stinger attack. There we go. All right, now let's try to stay on the side here. Yeah, it turns pretty fast, but uh, the stinger can poison you, and that's got that uh, sort of pincer attacks. None of it's really too much to deal with there, as you can see here, as we finish things off. Okay. Right. <laughs> and we get ourselves a level up. All right, level 29. Not bad, not bad. And yeah, message three. Oh, are we full on inventory there? Oh, I thought that I tried to grab that there, but no, nope, no go. I didn't use any of these uh, boosting items I just got. Shame on me. Oh, well, it was just a medicine three. I would have just used it to top off anyway, so <laughs> not a big deal. Not a big loss on that part. But yeah, as usual, there our inventory is a bit, a bit lagging. <laughs> uh, could potentially have used some bonus points to uh, to mitigate that a little bit. But yeah, well, for now we'll go ahead and uh, boost up our armor here. Uh, use the end suit that I'm not going, that I wouldn't use anyway. So hooray for that. <laughs> and okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, mod away the P220-2 as well and get us some more inventory space that's nice get rid of two tools and uh, two weapons there so four more slots open up all right I'll take it and now we will move on to this canoe room and to this little battle here with uh, some more dinosaurs yeah sure we'll leave it in uh, let's try to make quick work of them 
I have to say that, like, while I'm using this hand, I am liking the uh, speed we're getting as far as the ATB bar. You can see that's moving pretty darn quick for uh, while using the handgun, but uh, part of me does miss the range that you have with the rifles. There, for a lot of these areas, you can pretty well cover the entire area. It's locked. <laughs> but yeah, uh, rifles are very nice for uh, not having to worry about space issues. You can keep your distance a good bit more, and you can get just about everywhere in a lot of these tighter uh, fighting spaces. Alright, uh, we got ourselves a stairway here, but more importantly, we have a treasure which contains another grenade launcher, M203-4. And this one has the uh, icy rounds on it. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to use any of those in this playthrough. Hmm. Should I mod it over onto my current gun? Hmm. Like, I know that I have plans for getting a different gun by the end of this area, so... I don't think I'm going to be modding this one too much more than in stats, which I would carry over anyway. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I think we'll just stick with the tried and true method here, and uh, that, was pretty, that was pretty nice of these communes to gather up the way that they did there. And uh, at least <laughs> the acid's doing its job decently well. <laughs> Took out the one guy in the back, so I'm, I'm cool with that. Do I really want this medicine too? I guess I'll take it. I don't know. <laughs> it's not going to do a whole lot of good for me, but you know, why not? We'll go ahead and grab it and move onward. Now then we'll make our way back to this back room here and uh, we've got some rather large headed individuals. Or, well, not really individuals, but <laughs> uh, some. All Max there, Legends of the Hidden Temple, kind of. I don't know. Uh, we cannot get around any of these these guys there. You can't get behind them from here, which is disappointing. There, I'm sure that there's some goodies back there. But now, uh, well, let's we'll go ahead and leave this room here. I think. Don't think that there's anything else to it there. But wait, what was that noise? Okay. Whoa. Okay, things got a little shaky there. Hmm, all right. Well then, I think that, yeah, okay. We automatically go back to check out this room here. And yeah, all this rubble has fallen, hmm. But it does not appear that any of the uh, statues, statue heads have moved, so, yeah, well, I guess not really much we can do except get into this uh, surprise encounter <laughs> against these uh, armored armadillos, if you will. Uh, not Mega Man armored armadillo, you know. Eh, pretty close there. They will <laughs> will do this rolling attack at you. That is their main uh, method of attack. So uh, it does help decently to get them uh, bottled up in the one specific area for my burst attack. All I have to do is wait for them to roll in generally the same area. And uh, they follow after you, so that's pretty easy to do. So, hey. And hey, for defeating all those guys there, we get three medicine fours. That's very nice. Very well worth coming this way. Getting the best healing item in the game. Well, eh. I suppose that that's not quite <laughs> entirely true, but the highest level medicine in the game. Well, that one, that one is a true statement. Alright, now we are heading upstairs, and hey, we got ourselves another kiosk waiting for us up here, and here we have the mitochondria creates ATB, adenosine triphosphate, within the cell. How much energy is this equivalent to? Well, I do believe that the answer is 200,000 volts per cubic centimeter. So, yep, yeah, uh, I think that that is one of the answers that uh, Dr. Clamp mentions in that first, or well, the second day, the first meeting with him. That's one of those facts that he mentions, but I'm not 100% certain. But uh, if we look over in this room, we can see the evidence of the armadillo attack. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool attention to detail. You know, I've never actually come up to this room before, and I always just let that little cutscene play out. I don't know if you can catch them while they're up on this room there, and they'll jump down or anything like that. That's kind of interesting. There. All right. So we're gonna go out into the the fire escape here, but apparently Aya did not want to go 
down the ladder from the front of it there. She really wanted to go to the side. <laughs> Whatever you want, Aya. Well, we'll do it your way. And we'll get ourselves an offense plus one by going my way down here. <laughs> and yeah, we are uh, filling up this inventory once again. <laughs> so I definitely want to go ahead and uh, use that offense plus one because there is another item that we are going to be getting momentarily. As I mentioned before, there the room with the heads. We couldn't get behind them from the one side, but we can get behind them from this side and grab ourselves a tool for our for our efforts here. Very nice, very nice. Always happy to get more tools. Get these guns and armor even more obscenely overpowered. <laughs> That's one one thing <clears throat> that people have. I've seen people, other people struggle with, and uh, people mention in comments and stuff that uh, they've had issues uh, being underpowered. Really, if you stick with, uh, if you keep transferring over your stats from weapon or one armor to the next, you're really going to be set for the game if you just keep up on that. Because you get some powerful stuff. <laughs> For newer players, I would actually recommend getting more defense if you're uh, a little bit worried about that. So, so yeah, it's a, it's the option there. Just you know, keep up on it, and you'll be fine. And uh, I should really keep up my inventory management. So, hmm, yeah, we're going to go ahead and drop this off and get ourselves a PE plus one. All right, we'll go ahead and use that now. And uh, just for the sake of completeness, I don't like leaving that uh, box. <laughs> unopened there with our medicine. Now I don't really like <laughs> leaving this battle undone here and it says a level up with three rays ability there. That's kind of the uh, auto light ability so you just use that in battle and you'll pick yourself right up if you happen to drop low uh, your normal HP <laughs> if your HP reaches zero. Not something I plan on showing off but you know. <laughs> It's there for you if you need it. Okay, now what we have over in this chest over on this side here, we have a defense plus one. All right, more defense. Which I do enjoy getting more defense. Because I tend to be a little bit too reckless at times. Shame on me. And I can't get through here. So, yeah, okay, we can't go through that way. <laughs> Thanks, Aya. Thanks for the input. Okay, now that we've explored all this area there, I kind of... Uh, could have held off on going to the fire escape before, but oh well, not a big deal. Went down, grabbed the thing that I wanted from the floor below. Now we can head back up to the fire escape and head where we're supposed to go, which is up to the next floor. So here we go. All right, let's head up the ladder. If I can get Aya to actually get to the ladder. <laughs> so we can head up to the third floor. And no, oh, another treasure chest. What do we have here? Oh, we have a rocket. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we now have a new type of ammo. Along with our regular bullets, we have the rockets, which, as you might guess, there are going to be rocket launchers in the game. And as you might guess, we had an open area there, so we had uh, an encounter, as you might guess. <laughs> so, ready for that. And another little kiosk here. I've taken mitochondria, which uses oxygen as a nutritional source, into the body and living with it symbiotically. The bacteria fired a tremendous amount of energy. What was the consequence? Well, there's another one that I do believe that Dr. Clamp kind of filled us in on, and the answer is aging. And hey, a revive for our troubles with this one. Nice, nice. Very happy to get those revives when we when we can there. It's pretty much <laughs> the item form of the pre-raise spell that we just got. So, hey, you know, handy, handy. And we're moving onwards and heading into this room there with the little uh, caveman sort of display here. Uh, is it the evolutionary chain? Yeah, it's the evolution chain. And hey, we got those more armadillos to deal with. So, deal with them, we shall. And, okay, got the acid effect off on them there. And uh, that actually does a decent bit of damage on these guys. There are six points of damage each little cycle of acid. And there we go. Took him out. Hooray. And some ammo for our trouble there. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. 
And now let's go ahead and head downward and, oh, okay, the kiosk over here. You thought that you were going to be sneaking it by me there, didn't you? <laughs> in 1987, Can and Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from Mitochondria Eve. Which organism is thought to be Mitochondria Eve? Well, you know, she's apparently a killer in New York now, but <laughs> the Eve that they're talking about is an African female. Again, another thing that I think the game has told us already. And kind of a common knowledge thing, I do believe. So, yeah. Not too hard of a question to figure out there. Alright, keep on moving, keep on moving, keep on fighting, apparently. <laughs> Alright, we have ourselves an armadillo and some uh, chameleons. Yeah, I guess I'll leave this one in. Yeah, I don't think that we're going to see any... Or well, eh, I don't think we're gonna see any new enemies for a while here, so. So nothing too big to worry about, but you know, I'll still show them off for the most part there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got ourselves a uh, kill with the acid there. Nice, nice. I will definitely take that. And I'll take the ammo and I'll leave the rest for ya. Alright, uh, go ahead and use a mess and just to get my inventory cleared up once again and now let's head this way nope it is locked okay so now instead let's go ahead and head down the stairs and back down to the second floor where we can look around and explore a little bit more and getting into another camp encounter and deal with said encounter <laughs> and over here we are so the revive awesome Awesome. Always gonna take those. <laughs> and now I do believe that if we try to go through like anywhere here, we're going to not be able to get through. Let's go ahead and just check all these doors. There. Yeah, over here is locked. And if we try to head down to the south, it is also locked. So yeah. <laughs> yep, not much we could do here, but hey, we got ourselves a revive for our troubles. And that is definitely worthwhile. Alright, back upstairs we go, and, uh, this thing again. Yeah, we'll skip. <laughs> no need to see the exact same fight, right after we did the fight. <laughs> I think that would be a bit overdone. A bit overkill. Speaking of overkill, that's <laughs> about how these fights go. <laughs> Alright, as we make our way past the giant mitochondria organelle. Uh, display, we ourselves a sore cutscene here with the pterodactyl attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Getting all Jurassic Park up in here. And now, hmm, let's go ahead and put some, put some firepower into it here. And, uh, I think that this, uh, I feel like there's a special, uh, I think this pterodactyl thing that inflict you with sass ailments, I can't remember if it's paralyzed. I think that that might be it if it hits you. So that's something to keep in mind. And also something to keep in mind is that since we're dealing with a uh, unique type of enemy, we're going to go ahead and try to put the club on here and steal, see what we can get. And if we go ahead and smack this guy, if we can smack him. Alright, we got ourselves a range plus one. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. Okay, I think that the... Yeah, this uh, sort of burst breath attack there can deal some sort of stass ailment to you. And we don't like stass ailments around here. So yeah, we're just gonna go ignore that, not get, <laughs> not deal with that. And it drops themselves a mess in four, which is, you know, we'll just go ahead and trade out for a mess in three. Uh, your upgrade, why not? I like upgrades. You like upgrades, right? Right, all right. So now that we've dealt with that, I think that is good enough time to end off the episode and we will team back in here next time. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like or comment below. I appreciate it as always. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, also, be sure to go check out Gidray's channel. Because, yeah, Gidray's awesome. <laughs> Until the next one, guys. Stay gold, my friends.